Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you and yo, what's good, YouTube? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you. All right now, listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like and let's get this video to at least 500 likes, all right? 500 likes would definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community, and hopefully you can appreciate the 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. uploads every single day. And you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now, let's get straight into this video. So today, we're going to talk about the Offensive Oriented 4. This would definitely be another rare build, maybe the secondary ball handler build. And this build right here will be really, really good builds to those 6-7 Demi guys. Like, they're basically similar to the 6-7 Demi guy builds but they're just a rare build name. So if you're tired of seeing the offensive threat and score machine, try looking at the secondary ball handler or the offensive oriented four, okay? So let's get right into it. So obviously with the offensive oriented four, you wanna go power forward. Um, I went 6'7", dropped my weight to 217, and my wingspan is 6'10". Body type does not matter at all, okay? And then what I did was I maxed out um, everything below driving layup. So I maxed all this out, and I actually went 80 on the post control, okay? And then on my mid-range shot, I went 81 on my mid-range shot, maxed out my three-point shot, and went 75 on my free throw for 20, okay? Then I went 80 on the pass accuracy. I maxed out the ball handling and the speed with ball. And then I skipped interior defense. I went perimeter defense. I went 82 on the block. I went 73 on the offensive rebound, and then 86 on the defensive rebound all right so you got to use these pretty much to say i like if you want to get the name okay um then you want to max out the speed the acceleration um i got my strength to 67 and then i got my vert to 70 of course and then my stamina of course is going to be at 60 if you haven't seen my stamina video you might want to check it out it's just proven proof right there that you only need 60 stamina okay now let's go over this 17 20 23 and 12 obviously demon god type badge lineup right is it as many as you would get as officer in a pop um, or a score machine no but we got a cooler name so like you know the offset some of the badges for a better name i mean to me i think that's a good like you know swap right but um you will get a plus four to everything so you will have a 98 driving layup you will have a 96 driving dunk which of course will give, let you get all the contact dunk animations you also will have a 74 standing dunk and an 84 post control 85 mid-range shot and a 95 three-point shot so obviously you're above 85 when you're mid-range and of course you have a ridiculous 95 three ball so you're able to green every single shot you shoot if you have the proper base because you have a true green window and if you don't know about that you need to at least have an 85 or higher on your shooting mid-range and three-point shot and if you time your shot correctly you will get a green animation every single time okay so keep that in mind you have a 79 free throw if you're a rec player that's what you have there you also have an 84 pass accuracy a ridiculous 88 ball handle and a ridiculous 88 speed with ball okay so really really good when it comes to the dribbling and the ball handling pass accuracies will be good also interior defense and still we do not have now obviously they do play um important parts in a build but they're not really that important for next gen so it's like they if you want to be make sure like and i there is a new patch that came out so maybe they they nerfed contact dunks not with this patch but it was like a little quick fix but there was still a high rate of contact dunks that are still being happening so interior defense it plays a part but it's only like 25 percent. so i mean is it good to have that yes of course it's good to have it but if it's more so centered on if you're going to be a lockdown build if you're a lockdown build it makes sense but since you're this is an offensive primary bar handler build it doesn't make sense to worry about interior defenses still because most likely where you should have a lockdown guard and on ball anyway this is not going to be an on ball type build okay you will have a 99 perimeter defense though with a 99 line of quickness so you're there with that all right, so you are able to play some on-ball defense. It's just that not having still interior defense obviously would be better if you had someone that had those, okay? You have an 86 block, 77 offensive rebound, and a 90 defensive. 
88 speed, 85 acceleration, 71 strength, 74 vert, and a 64 stamina, okay? So all in all, really, really ridiculous badge lineup and attributes for this build. And then when you come here, you have slashing, um, sharp, playmaking, and lock takes. Now, we all know the most nastiest combination is easy blow buys and limitless range threes, okay? So those are pretty toxic. You also can go with the finishing moves and the advanced gathers. That's really toxic. Um, from the defensive side, like I said, the defense is just not good at all. I don't recommend really even using defensive badges, takeovers, because defense is just not good. Now, I don't know how this next up, this update that just happened this morning, I don't know if it's really going to be game breaking, but if it is, obviously, you know, I'll come back and I'll revisit some of these builds and, or I just drop a video and talk about what I've seen thus far, okay? But for me, I'm going to go with easy blow buys and limitless range threes, okay? And then here you have it, my nephews and nieces, the offensive oriented four, okay? Now let's go ahead and test this build out real quick. Let's get a 99 and then we will get you out of here. Boom, boom. Um, of course, here we get posterizer. You want to get put back, rise up, um, slithery finisher, fearless finisher, acrobat. Um, actually, let's go. Um, let's just get slithery maxed out. All right, so let's do that. Um, on the shooting, primary ball handler, deep threes, hot zone hunter. Uh, I'm a rhythm shooter guy, blinders. And then that last one, I don't want to go difficult shots because the fades have been nerfed, okay? Um, so maybe you can probably go Deadeye. I think Deadeye might be a good one. So this might be a good little lineup. If you're going to be the um, spot up, if you're a spot up, they don't change anything. Just take away rhythm shooter and go catch and shoot because, you know, you're a spot up, so you want to get a catch and shoot. But if you're the primary ball handler, either go a rhythm shooter or stop and pop, just depending on what you prefer as a ball handler. I like rhythm shooter, okay? And then for the playmaking, of course, ankle breakers. You want handles for days. You want quick first step. You want bullet passer. Um, you want space creator. So you got everything now. And then from here, it's just all about what you want to go differently. And me, I'm like to go bail out and I like unpluckable. I like kind of that little split right there. Um, that's what I would go with. If you wanted to go a different direction, maybe I can understand that. I know some people that don't use ankle breaker or space creator, um, you know, because they just like, listen, I'm not trying to go for animations. I'm just trying to get to the basket and score. Like, you know, some people love to get the animations, like try to drop people or other that type of deal. And other people just like, listen, man, I'm just going to come out there and cook you. I don't need animation. You know, so it depends on your play style. But um, I can go with that. And then here, the most important stuff is going to be clamps, intimidator, and rim protector. So these are the ones that you want to get at all times. And then maybe just throw on bronze brick wall or chase down, you know, that type of deal. And call it a day. But these are the most important ones. Clamps, intimidator, and rim protector. These are the most important badges, all right? But anywho, there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is the Offensive Oriented 4. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, you subscribe to the channel, and as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. And you know, when I say I'm back soon with the banger, you already know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. If he cop for a low, we gon' give it to him. Take the stop out the top of no transform him. And we're ducking and dodging on the corner. Doing flip with a beat like a mighty morpher. Tell myself to get rich and go help